do it again. Hi guys, welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today's video is gonna be about the wheel bug spirit animal and what this animal means when you see it inside of your life. This insect is such a beautiful creature to see. It brings upon so much change and I know it looks so scary for very good reasons. But without further ado, let's get straight into what we can learn about the wheel bug spirit animal. Okay, you guys, so the wheel bug is no joke. You definitely don't want to get bitten by one of these creatures because they have prongs on them, kind of similar to a fire ant, similar to a scorpion. And so when they actually bite you, it really hurts like hell. Like it hurts like agonizing pain, okay? So these insects are also very predatorial. And this is very important to understand, okay? So if you see a wool bug, give yourself some space away from it because its bite and its stings actually causes a lot of pain. Now, what does it mean if you actually see this bug inside of your life? Well, let me tell you guys a personal story. Just like some of the other videos that I've done on um, animal totems, a lot of the animal totem videos that I've done are things that I have actually experienced. It's things that I've actually come to understand from my own synchronicities with the animal. So when I first encountered this animal, it was in a time where I was sitting on the balcony and my fiance was sitting right next to me and we were just catching some sun. And this was my first time seeing this animal. So. I felt like I felt something on my leg and I look and I didn't see anything and so about five minutes later he turns to me and he goes oh my god do not move and I was like what and I saw it and he was just like get up slowly and get away and we both didn't know what it was, but we knew that it looked very horrifying. Like it has a whole, it just looks weird. Um, this creature looks weird. And luckily I did not get bit by it, right? But here's what I learned. So when it comes to this animal, this animal's way of attacking its prey is slow, steady, silent, methodical, and it really does plan every single move and it creeps up on you okay it's like a military tactic okay um where they are literally just trying to camouflage themselves and also just really trying to do a sneak attack so even though i thought i felt something on me when i looked down i couldn't see it because the handle of the chair I was on was actually black and I just felt a presence like something is around. So it stalked me and waited until it could get close enough to actually bite me. I got very lucky. It was so close to my arm and it was moving so slowly. So what is this animal telling you? It is telling you that when it comes to your life, the things that you're experiencing, whatever you were thinking about when you saw it, you have to take your time. You have to be patient. There may be goals that you have to complete. There may be things that you need to do. And it could be at a time where you're feeling like you want to be very impulsive. It could be at a time where you're feeling like you want to get things done right away. This bug is coming in to tell you a lesson ahead of time that you do not need to get it done right away. You can still get it done. It's not about procrastination. But however, when you get it done, Make sure that you're doing a lot of organization. Make sure that you're prepping, you're doing a lot of planning. Because if you don't plan and you just go for it, you could miss a lot of information, you could do it the wrong way, and it could be a bigger L versus having a more quality, um, efficient you know, outcome that you actually want. 
So the message about this bug is really coming through for you to be patient with whatever it is that you're experiencing or whatever it is that you feel intuitively was happening the moments that you saw this bug or what you're thinking about, okay? And it's also about not just that patience, but making sure that you plan. Now, this bug also stands for something else that happens. And this is what I really experienced as well. Ever since the moment I saw this bug, right? I've experienced such a extreme radical rebirth metamorphism of my life. The biggest thing that I've ever done, um, maybe not ever, but the biggest thing that really changed my life, changed the energy of how things were going and really just a complete rebirth. So this bug comes into your life to tell you that, we'll wait for that to pass by. So this bug brings in an extreme rebirth, an extreme metamorphism. You could go as different as deciding to not eat meat anymore and just go vegan or you could go ahead and decide to completely move your you know where it is that you are located and locate your relocate yourself to a different country or a different state or a different environment this just means a big big change you could even suffer a loss from a friend or suffer um oh no we waiting so guys, when I say rebirth, I really mean rebirth, like a big rebirth. And rebirth requires death and then birth again, right? So you could lose something serious inside of your life. Um, and this isn't going to be the case for everybody. But some of you, you know, you could lose friends that you cared about. And when I say lose, I don't necessarily just mean like death. I actually mean like lose contact with them. You guys could have a falling out that just seems very so real where you don't know why or how it actually happened. And like it was just destined for you guys to kind of part ways there. This happened for me. Um, and it's, it is a death process. You're losing something. So you could lose things inside of your life, okay? You could lose contact, you could lose something important, um, documents, um, man, it goes all the way in and it really is because of this bug. When you see it, it brings that much change, okay? What it also has you do is it has you go through a metamorphism where you're looking inward towards yourself. You do things that you're healing yourself on all levels, physical, you're healing yourself on a mental, you're healing yourself on a, on a, you know, on a, on a spiritual, mental, and a physical level all the way. And you're just going through a rebirth. But I will say, even though it's a trying time, maybe not for everybody, but for the most part it is from the research that I've done as well. Even though it's a trying time, it has a good outcome with the rebirth. It is for the better. Um, if you lose contact with people or if you lose certain things in your life, it's because there is a lesson there that needs to be learned on your part. Maybe you are, you know, were too attached to that item or maybe you didn't appreciate that item enough or that person enough. It could be anything. It could also tell you to just look inward to yourself and see how you affect your environment and the people around you. So there's a lot that goes into it. Now, when I saw this bug, we went inside and started researching what the hell it was. And the very next day, it had a baby out there. There was a baby out there. There was a very small version of it out there. And I was like, I want this thing off of my um, patio. Cause I'm not trying to give it, but I left it alone, obviously. And, um, yeah, it, it literally is that. Okay. So you guys, it's not just about the animals meaning, but it's also about like, you know, what happened? Were there two of them? Were there one of them? Um, did it stand still? 
um, did it bite you? You know, it goes into depth with your personal experience as well. So make sure that you guys are also using your intuition as well. Because shortly after that, I had dreams that I was pregnant. And you know what I'm saying? And that bug was pregnant as well. And people, please don't tell me that I'm gonna get pregnant soon or do a reading for me because I know exactly what's coming for me in the future. And I have a good frame of the time and all that stuff and I just, I'm okay. <laughs> but no, I went through an eight day fast of not eating food. That occurred after seeing this bug, it built up to that. I was already intermittently fasting and it was a slow, steady process of planning. There were certain goals that I had that I started to slowly, um, slowly but surely, you know, set rigorous like planning around and I didn't even know that this bug's symbolism was to plan until um, way later after seeing the bug so it's just interesting you guys nature speaks and yeah I really hope you guys really enjoyed this video so make sure that you hit the like button if you actually like this video make sure that you guys are prepared and you listen to your intuition so you can follow your destiny follow the right steps that are you know in front of you and don't be afraid to go down that path okay you guys subscribe to my channel check out my website inside of the description box below if you want to support my channel i would really really appreciate it and i will see you guys inside of the next video bye bye